This is another brief demo of the uh, KSW-1 transmitter. Uh, this time I'm using a sigillant spectrum analyzer instead of the uh, Tiny SA. Um, I found when I was look, trying to look for the, um, the sidebands on AM and SSB, the, uh, the Tiny SA wasn't really up to the job. Uh, so I've got the same E-field probe in the um, driver compartment. The driver tubes aren't installed, the PA tubes aren't installed. Um, at the moment it's on CW emission, so we've got the single carrier being detected. It's on 14.5 uh, megahertz on the 20 meter band. Um, I've also got an audio oscillator running in the background there at uh, kilohertz and uh, scope. Um, monitoring the input to the um, balanced mixer uh, down here. The, um, the one kilohertz signal is on this lead here. I've not got it connected at the moment, but the microphone is connected and uh, it is working and the press the talks working good. Um, so I'll turn to the AM emission and you can see when I talk there's some uh, there's some uh, modulation on the uh, on the signal now just uh, being picked up by the microphone. You can hear the uh, Really clicking in and off there as they operate the press to talk, and actually the the Vox works quite well as well. When I uh, when I have it on sideband, I think it just works. Um, anyway, um, so AM is working. Um, of course, this isn't true AM in the classic sense. It's uh, basically uh, keeping the carrier inserted and it's modulating either the upper or the lower sideband. So if I switch the sidebands, you can see. That's the upper sideband being modulated. This is the lower sideband being modulated. Um, switch to SSB. And with, with the uh, audio gain turned right down, uh, there's just a little bit of carrier left there. It's quite well suppressed. Um, as I turn the modulation, the audio gain up, you can see that the uh, at the moment I'm on the lower sideband, so the lower sideband is being modulated by my voice. Switch to uh, upper sideband and the upper sideband is being modulated by my voice. Um, there's less carrier on the, uh, on the upper sideband position. So it seems to indicate that the, um, the balance in the filtering circuits isn't quite right. And I haven't touched the alignment on this, it probably hasn't been aligned for decades. So uh, it's doing quite well to uh, do as it does. Now, instead of the microphone, if I um, patch in the one kilohertz signal, and I put it to the, the phone patch, uh, which is in here, which is this position here, this little bottom of the phone plug. So we've now got a one kilohertz uh, signal. There's a little bit of hum, that's why the uh, the trace is walking about because part of the uh, cable isn't screened when it comes out of the audio generator. Um, so again, the, uh, that's the peak. So it's at about 14.97. And you can see there's two smaller peaks there. I should actually unplug the microphone because it's still picking my voice up here. The microphone's unplugged now. It doesn't like that. With the mic and you can see there's two uh, there's two ancillary peaks there, and if I um, run the peak along there, you'll see this is a kilohertz away from the carrier. About one kilohertz away, and the second peak will be two kilohertz away because there's a one kilohertz tone being fed into this. So basically, I think functionality. So I see him picking up the voice on top of the uh, the tone. There, uh, functionality is is pretty good. So next, I'm going to actually try receiving the uh, sideband signal, see what it sounds like on a pair of headphones. And uh, then I'll continue with my voltage checks. I've done a few. Everything seems to be okay so far. Um, and the, the, the transmitter's probably been running total for two or three hours now, on and off over the last two or three days. 
and I haven't had any issues uh, so far. Power supply is holding up. Uh, things are running fairly cool. Hardly getting warm actually. So everything's good. So uh, functionality tests still uh, still ongoing.